Spyro Reignited Trilogy isn't just one game. Okay, it is a single disc. But once you boot it up, it's not just one game. It's actually three games. Any three games even have separate trophies. So you can call them three games. Hi, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about all the Spyro games specifically developed for the PS4. Spyro Reignited Trilogy is a remake of the first three Spyro games. And man, I, are they good. And because the three games are different, I'm going to split them into three. So the first one, Spyro the Dragon, is awesome. Some people accuse the game of being repetitive, but honestly, I never got bored of the game. It's a collected fun. You have to free all 80 dragons and collect gems. You get a hub world from where you can access different levels. There are 36 levels in the game. And I have to praise them. Each level brings something new. And this novelty is with each level makes the game fresh, even if you're doing almost the same thing in all of them. And I think that the game is so fun in spite of it having a repetitive formula because they nailed the most important part in this game, the platforming. The mechanics feel so good and along some stunning and cute visuals, the game is a feast. You get new enemies, new powers, new strategies to tackle stuff, there are some collectibles that are hard to get, the game encourages exploration, it's not made to be tough, it's made to be casual so that kids can enjoy it too and adults can relax with the game. The game doesn't have tough parts like the original, everything is ironed out so that the game remains only fun. Though the racing parts where you have to fly and row stuff still offer a little bit of challenge. And I think that the game is easier or it feels easier because the controls are better. Spyro is easier to maneuver than in the original game, which makes things easier and better. Each level has a boss battle and each hub world has collectibles, the story is nice and with the nice visual the game is a must play. Unless you're really obsessed with hardcore games, then you should stick to tougher games. But for a casual and relaxing experience, this game is amazing. Spyro 2 has a similar game formula of having a hub world from where you get into different levels. Spyro 2 has 29 levels. And the game isn't just a copy-paste, but with different levels. I mean, the game formula isn't really the exact same. The game brings many improvements to the gameplay. First, you can finally swim. When you get into water, you don't drown. You can actually swim. And this is very useful. And it's very nicely integrated into the game. And not only that you swim above the surface, but you swim underwater too. And you get unlimited breath too. You also get power ups in some levels. With this you can spit fireballs like bullets. Or you can fly within a level. You can also climb in this game. And you can gain a little air before landing a ledge. Which is very useful during platforming. You also can do this. The way you solve levels is different now. Instead of releasing dragons, now you collect orbs. And the way you get those orbs makes the game a big step up from its predecessor. Remember in Super Mario 64 where there was a unique way to get a star in a level. And each level had multiple stars. It's the same here. Each orb has a unique way to get it. Which makes each of the 29 levels in the game unique. You have places where you play hockey for an orb, or drive a cart, or shoot from a spaceship. Each level has a unique objective. Also each level is visually distinct. Each level has unique enemies, each level has cutscenes and each of the three worlds in the game has a boss battle. And boss battles are distinct from the rest of the gameplay, unlike in the first game. Spyro 2 is really really good. And it's a lot of fun. And Spyro 3, the Year of the Dragon, is in theory a battle game. It's more varied, but in my opinion, it isn't as fun. I had more fun in Spyro 2 than in 3. Let me elaborate. So Spyro 3 has a big amount of new gameplay styles. You get to play as new characters and each character has multiple mini games he or she participates in. And while I do agree that variety makes things fresh, 
not all of the gameplay elements feel necessarily good. Neither are broken, don't get me wrong, but some of the minigames just don't feel that good, and some have some mechanics that I doubt the small kid will master. I'm not saying that the game is tough, I'm just saying that there are some moments where kids will get stuck. But don't worry, some adult supervision is enough to unstuck the kid from that level. As for adults, the game is still a casual experience. There are some mildly challenging parts, but overall the game is relaxing. The story is childish and reminds you that this is a kid's game, but honestly, I recommend the game to anyone. If you have a PlayStation 4, you're missing on some great games if you don't play the Spyro Trilogy. It's history remastered. Spyro is one of the best PS1 games, and the developers managed to recreate the same amazing games and make them better. The controls are better, the visuals are better, not only that, they are less confusing than the original with their polygon graphics, but are really gorgeous too. They aren't just good looking, they are gorgeous. I recommend you the bundle, it's amazing. It takes you around 27 hours to finish all of the three games, so you have what to play in the games. You will have a lot of fun. It, the bundle isn't just a cash-in, it's a love letter to all Spyro fans. After a generation of poor Spyro games, finally, this generation has some really great Spyro titles. If you haven't played this bundle yet, you definitely should. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.